if I hadn't had DNA testing, I would still be either sitting with no answers or I would have focused in on the wrong answer. Dick Hill was brought up in a loving home, caring parents, no different from his friends, he thought, until one day a visit with his doctor. I had never had a clue that I was adopted, and I certainly wondered why my parents had kept this information from me. Like any adoptee, Dick wanted to meet his birth mother, but sadly it was too late. I found out that she was killed in a car accident uh, like a year after I was born. With his birth mother gone, he now set out to find his biological father. I started doing conventional research and did it for off and on for 20 some years, trying to identify my birth father. And I was getting nowhere. Then a glimpse of hope. His birth mother had put down the name of his father. And finally, after 20 years of conventional genealogy research, at last they would meet. We hit it off quite well. I, I thought, well, hey, this is great. What a, what a happy ending, except uh, he was a lot shorter than me. We didn't look anything alike. And also in several marriages, he'd never been able to pr produce children. So we decided to get a conventional paternity test. And that proved that he could not be my father. I had been down so many dead ends. In the beginning, I was chasing rumors that turned out to be false and going after suspected fathers that uh, turned out to not to be the ones. Unfortunately, a common theme among thousands of adoptees, often stonewalled by bureaucracy and sealed court records, but he wasn't ready to give up. If you're adopted and you're you think they're, you're just completely blocked by the secrecy of the uh, sealed adoption records. Don't give up. Um, DNA testing can provide answers. I decided to try a DNA test with family tree DNA. I did get a very strong match with another man and his last name was Richards. So I had all these notes. I probably had a, an 18 inch thick stack of notes collected over 20 years of research. And I started going through all this to see if my birth mother had been around any man whose surname was Richards. And sure enough, I found that the place where she was working, she worked as a waitress um, at the time she got pregnant for me. And the man that owned the bar, his last name was Richards but I found out that the man had four brothers and they were all living in the same area at the time my birth mother got pregnant. So it was possible that any of his brothers could have met her and maybe they were the Richards that, that fathered me. Dick's decision to test his DNA was his last hope not only did family tree DNA produce a close match, but it also determined which one of the four potential fathers was his real birth father. I now know his name. I now have a, two new siblings. I have another half brother and a half sister on my birth father's side. So now I have three siblings in total, and I started out with none. Even though you, you miss decades of life together, there's still a connection, and uh, it was pretty easy to reestablish it once we met. And another thing I found out is how much interest there was from the other side, because I knew I was interested in finding them, but in both cases, on both sides of the birth families, they were very excited to hear from me. Sometimes birth mothers lie, sometimes records lie or are wrong, and you need to go further. You need to get your DNA tested. Uh, if I had only believed the records that were left of my adoption, um, I would be convinced that this other man was my birth father. And absolutely he was not. Yeah, you just, like you've been struggling for years and you finally uh, solve the core mystery of your life. And that is, where do I come from? 
So yeah, it's, uh, it's a great feeling.